Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to do unboxing of Seagate GoFlex Home Network Storage um, System or device, whatever you want to call it. Um, NAS, NAS, you can also call that as well. It's not exactly like NAS, but uh, functions more or less like it. Um, so what that has to offer, let's go ahead and uh, already um, open the wrap and all this kind of stuff, make it make it easier for um, for me. So let's, let's go with the box first. So you do have two years of limited warranty, um, fully recyclable packaging, which is always awesome. Uh, go green and uh, Seagate GoFlex Home Network Storage System. And there you go. You can raw, uh, read all the stuff. So that's more info. Uh, definitely does have apps for any Apple or um, Android devices, so iOS or Android. PC Mac compatible, no problem. This is a two terabyte version of it, so you can see that on the side of the box. That's gonna be like the little picture of it. So on the back, it's got a USB 2.0 setting for printer or any additional drives if you wanted to. Um, hook a terabyte up here on on this uh, through USB. You can actually go ahead and do that. Of course, your power switch and gigabit internet line. On the back of it. You can uh, see that you'll be able to connect all of this device to this drive, no problem at all. So connect all this in one digital place. Um, of course, they have apps for it, and of course, this is you can also use this to back up your uh, computer over Wi-Fi or um, or uh, your network actually, which is really awesome. Their software um, included. So all these are compatible. There are more specs here. You can pause it and view that if you would like. Uh, okay, You're right there. That's what is included inside the box. So let's go ahead and open it up, and let's find out. So. Nice packaging. Um, let's see. First, we're gonna take a look at this box. Let's see what it has to offer inside. Now let's keep that aside for now. And let's open this guy up. And take that aside. Okay, it's one, two, and three. So let's take a look at this. This is your standard um, Ethernet port, which one would go into your uh, actually nice build quality. I don't know if you guys see that, but a, that's a metal right there. Really nice connector. Um, so that's always nice to see. Um, as of Seagate being the network storage people with the uh, more more of a hard drive people, they're actually giving a really nice cable. Um, let's see what kind of cable they they they're using right now. I believe that should be Cat 6, but it's actually Cat 5E, um, which should be okay, no problem with that. So let's keep that in the box. Of course, uh, your power adapter. So let's see. Standard power adapter right there. And most of this device is, of course. Uh, for US, this particular model. Let's keep that in here, and this is actually the main uh, main base of it. So that's uh, this is what you want to have. It's kind of it's got a little bit half to it, which is which is kind of nice because then you know it's not gonna fall down or anything like that. Let's open this up. And uh, nice rubber feet actually on the bottom. That is from the front, so you have two LEDs here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but that's one and that's two with the Seagate logo. Um, of course, on the side, there's nothing except this little uh, thing that's the back of it. So that's your uh, gigabyte internet port and uh, network sharing device, or you can also share your printer if you would like to. Um, that's really awesome, uh, awesome to have. 
any kind of USB port on that. Like it's plus. I mean, we already know it's got two terabyte, but it's got plenty of storage now. Uh, of course, your power on and off switch actually here, which uh, definitely you can use to turn it on or turn it off. And that's the uh, power adapter on the bottom. Let's see. So I'm gonna disable that stuff right there, but. Uh, Flex home. That's it. Let's keep that right here, like this, like this. I can see that or not. Let's see. Let's do that. Okay. Let's keep this aside and this aside. And now, let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got. So, drive itself. We'll take a look at that in a moment. What else we have? So, nothing more. Um, you got quick start guide here by Seagate, of course. Um, you also have the uh, limited warranty guide, which uh, of course you wanted to read that. You know, let's go and read that what they cover, what not. So that's one thing. And this is the software that uh, that you could actually use uh, to be able to configure three different computers to do auto backup. It doesn't matter if you use uh, Mac or if you use Windows side of it. Uh, should work perfectly fine, no problem. And so what you can do is configure this and it would do auto backup um, at certain time or you can uh, or you can do on the fly I believe so. But that's that's the awesome part of it. So um, let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at would be drive itself so it's nice that they actually have the phone number just in case if you get confused uh, how to set up this drive let's go ahead and cut off the box uh -huh. really protective so that's the drive let's see too much plastic too much plastic going on let's and hit pass it. Right, there's some plastic pieces on the top as well. I'm just trying to get those out of the way. It's one. Got a nice finish to it, which I kind of like. So, let's see. Hopefully, and that's why I kind of removed the uh, other plastic um, on the box. So. Because this thing is wrapped with plastic. Looks nice. Um, fairly heavy because, uh, of course, you're going to have um, three and a half inch drive. So, that's kind of standard drive. And um, it would use your regular SATA. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if that's going to focus more. But there you go. So it uses the regular SATA. And what it do is actually, so that's the drive. Shoot from this side. From this side. And from this side. And from the top. Um, idle temperature is supposed to be uh, around 35 uh, Celsius and um, max is supposed to be around 40 somewhere so that's uh, it's not bad and what you do is align this to here I mean definitely you can't miss it and then uh, pop this in like so so it's gonna make a clicking noise or so there we go and that's the drive looks like so now it's attached and you're almost ready to go. You just got to install this little software if you wanted to use as a backup, um, auto backup thing. But there you go. Uh, that's the ports again. That's the back of it. And that's how you keep it. Just plug it into internet port, power adapter, and you're good to go. Um, I might try 
also what you can do with this is basically um, if you want to replace it let's say you have plenty of uh, music and movies and all those kind of stuff and um, your two terabyte is, you know space is full so you want to use something else well you can also like I said you can always take advantage of this USB port anytime to attach a different drive if you would like uh, for example a portable one terabyte drive if you would like uh, you'll be able to use that if not you'll be able to just uh, let's see you'll be able to just pop this off like so I wasn't able to do it on camera but you can just pop pop the the drive out and you can actually go ahead and buy one of these more one more you have to have one of these kind of drive and pop that back in and now you actually have more storage so it's really nice to see that uh, you have you have to have Seagate product in order to do that but uh, it's a really nice option that you could actually change that um, so if you guys have any questions or anything like that um, please feel free to uh, comment down below I'll try to answer all of them and uh, thank you for watching